Ida B. Wells was born into slavery in Holy Springs, Mississippi on July 16, 1862. She was the oldest daughter of James and Lizzie Wells. During the Reconstruction period, her parents were activists within the Republican Party. Her father, Mr. Wells, was involved with the Free Man's Aid Society, and he helped start Russ College, a historically black liberal arts college. Ida Wells attended Russ College but was forced to drop out. When Wells was 16 years old, she lost both of her parents and a younger sibling to yellow fever. Ida raised the rest of her siblings after her parents passed as her own. She convinced the school administrator that she was 18 and landed a job as a teacher. In 1884, Wells boarded a train to Nashville, Tennessee with a first-class ticket, but was forced to move to a car for African Americans. Wells refused to accept the mistreatment, so she was forcibly removed from the train. Wells sued the railroad and won. She won a $500 settlement, but the decision was overturned later by the Tennessee Supreme Court. And after the incident, Wells took on the alias Iola and began writing about racial and political issues in the South. Many of Wells' articles were published, and she later became the owner of two newspapers, the Memphis Free Speech and Headlight and Free Speech. Wells lost her job as a teacher in 1891 because she spoke out about the conditions of segregated schools in her city. In 1892, Wells turned her focus to anti-lynching after her friend and two of his business partners lost their lives to lynchings. Wells risked her life and lost her paper to tell her story about lynchings in America for the New York age a newspaper owned by former slave Thomas Fortune. In 1895, Wells married Fredenard Barnett, but she kept her maiden name, and they had four children. In 1896, Wells formed several civil rights organizations, including the National Association of Colored Women. In 1898, Wells took her anti-lynching campaign all the way to the White House to President McKinley. In 1909, Wells attended a conference for an organization which later became the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP. And on January the 30th, 1913, Wells founded the Alpha Suffrage College in Chicago. Ida B. Wells July 16th, 1862 to March the 25th, 1931.